All right, so we're back for this bad boy. So here's the engine off the mower. Uh, the clutch is stuck on the engine shaft, basically. Uh, so we're gonna give that another crack at removing that. So I've sprayed um, CRC or WD-40 or RP-7 or whatever you wanna call it. Um, best I can uh, to try and get some penetration onto the engine shaft. I, I strongly believe if we if we get some movement on the engine shaft, this, this should come off. Uh, it's not gonna be easy, uh, though I think it will come off pretty easily once it starts to move. So, uh, the cotter pin in here, I have undone the nut and I've hit that on top with a, with a hammer. I'm confident that that is no longer uh, tensioned on the shaft. So I'm confident that that cotter pin is actually not uh, holding the clutch onto the engine shaft. So hopefully I'm right, but it's sort of one of those things you can't really tell unless you've got x-ray vision. So we're just sort of gonna wing it. So here's my theory. Uh, I've got a small uh, jimmy bar. Uh, I'm gonna wedge that in here uh sort of pry that and hopefully that'll just push the uh, clutch off the engine shaft may or may not work i don't i don't have high hopes um not sure i, I don't know we'll just see how we go Okay, so is that working? To be honest, I'm not really sure. Uh, it looks like it's moved. Uh, I'm just basing it off the gap that I've got here. Uh, I'm not sure that it has moved or not. Uh, I'm gonna keep doing that for a little bit longer and we'll see, we'll see if we do actually get, get a fair amount of movement. Okay, let's uh, let's stop doing that. I just bloody punched the engine. Oh my god, that hurt. Um, man, that hurt. Uh, all right, so that's well, that's clearly not working. That's just not happening. Um, not sure. Maybe what we'll do is we'll, we'll we'll pull the actual clutch apart so the clutch cone and the outer ring uh, comes off. Uh, maybe once we've got that off, we'll be able to uh, see a bit better inside there, see what's jamming it up, and, um, and come up with a better game plan. So we'll quickly rip that apart. Okay, so now we've done that, um, someone's clearly been in here. The, the bolts they've used are uh, just a your standard sort of bolt. Uh, now these are meant to have a countersunk head, um, which would uh, fit nicely in the end of the clutch here. Uh, however, they're normal bolts, so someone's obviously had this apart at some point. Um, anyway, now we've done that, this clutch should come apart. Okay, 
So clutch is apart, we've got our uh, clutch spring in the middle, we've got our clutch cone, um, clutch cone actually is in pretty good condition uh, despite there's a bit of wear on the end there, now I dare say that's come from the inside of that. Um, and the clutch cork sits in here, now there is a cork there, however can't be much of a cork there, it's very very thin, um, there's a considerable amount of uh, debris in there as well, so um, anyway, now we've got that off we can sort of see this a bit better and we might be able to get that in off the engine. Okay, so I've managed to got to get a, a little bit of movement. Um, uh, movement's the key, so we've got a small amount of movement, so that's good. So hopefully we'll get to a point where it'll just slip straight off. Um, fingers crossed, anyway. So we'll keep we'll keep persisting. had uh, success. So, uh, I actually believe the, the cotter pin here was uh, jammed on the engine shaft. Now I can sort of see on the cotter pin here that there's a there's almost like a flat part at the bottom of it. Uh, that should not be there. Um, and I reckon that's what was jammed on the engine shaft here. So the engine shaft doesn't appear to have any damage in it. Um, see if you can see the cotter pin. So I see this flat part here, uh, that definitely should not be there. So uh, that would obviously, that's obviously going to go in the bin. Uh, the engine clutch itself, so that bearing is totally buggered, would need replacing, uh, and I dare say this is also going to need replacing so with today's uh, new parts or replacement parts I don't think it's even worth uh, reusing this or even attempting to reuse it uh, inside here the keyway inside here uh, has got a fair amount of damage on it um, so that would just be a throwaway item I believe buy a new one uh, you won't have any issues the engine shaft Appears to be quite a rod, so uh, keyway doesn't look damaged. Uh, the key in the keyway was and still is quite a snug fit. So, my opinion, this engine uh, is probably still usable. Um, uh, a new key, a new key would be ideal. Uh, keyway is. In great shape, the shaft is not damaged, uh, and I'm sure if I wanted to use this engine, I could. However, I don't wish to. Uh, but for the purpose of this video, this clutch, um, this is how the clutch goes. So clutch, uh, bearing, clutch spring, uh, clutch cone, and outer case. So spring, clutch cone. And then the outer case goes on top. And that's basically how your clutch works. Uh, when you engage your clutch fork, it pushes the clutch cone in, uh, which would squish the spring. Let's see one of the bench. It would uh, compress the spring inside the clutch cone. 
Uh, and that's how that's how the clutch works. So this clutch will be going in the bin, but that's how I'd go about removing a, a stuck uh, clutch and uh, disassembling a clutch. So thanks for watching.